Hi guys, I'm Patrick WWDC and today I'm going to teach you how to create custom cells and how to DQO them. So what you want to do is here we have one table view cell. We can, let's say, put label in the middle. Like this in the middle and we set its constraints to be in the middle and also width and height. So now it's going to look like this. And we can also do some also do some other things like italic that looks cool. And now what you want to do is create a new class that is going to be a subclass of table view cell notes table view cell you click next create and there you have it now you go to storyboard table view cell you click identity inspector and in the class you put notes table view cell now you open open assistant editor you open manual notes notes cell and then what you want to do is put label and just property label now go to table view controller delete this and create a new cell that is going to be table view dq reusable cell with identifier so you have to do identifier so we go to notes table view cell and set its identifier by to note not by we set it to note and then here we do note and then as notes table view cell now we set cell label text is equal to notes object at index index path row as an string and what should we see when we run this app is basically we should see all these guys in this format if we did it correctly and I hope that we did let's wait it to build and now it's going to run and as you can see we have all the rows and that's right we can also put some images let's say do we have any unfortunately let's say map Let's just put it because we can. So let's say 0, 0, 20, 20. Now let's put 50, 50, 40, I guess. And now let's set its constraints like this. We are not going to do anything like with map view because we already did that. And we don't actually need it right now in the notes app. Maybe we'll win. we will need one. We are going to do some locations we could do later on. But for now, what we should see is an error. Yeah, because we need map kit for that. That's that's true. Let's. Let's just put slider. No constraints, just let it be. Now, we are going to cover one more thing today, and that is override function table view did select. Now, there is one thing 
that happens as you can see here are sliders but what happens most of the times for me I choose the deselect deselect and that is problem so make sure that you that it's written here did select not did deselect and now I shouldn't let's go again so I can show how to just table view and did select that's it and now we're going to do cell is equal to table view cell for all at index path index path and now we are going to do cell dot accessory type is equal to type is equal to UI table view cell accessory type let's say check mark and then we are going to do deselect deselect let cell is equal to table view dot cell for what index path index path cell dot accessory type is equal to UI table cell accessory type dot none now what should happen is if we click one of the cells it should in theory put a check mark on the right side so you see and when we deselect it removes it or we could do actually but I think that this is all that we need to do actually yeah let's do it if cell dot that accessory type is equal to UI table view cell accessory type dot none then it's going to do this and if it's not we're going to do cell dot accessory type is equal to UI table view accessory type none so what should now happen We need two of these guys. So now what we should see soon when this runs. Let's how oh, I did remove. I forgot. So it is going to run now and as you can see it's working. Yeah, so that's it about for today. I thought that this is going to work, but whatever, we're going to do it next time. More advanced stuff. That's basically it for today. And yeah, I'll see you next time. See you, bye bye.